Welcome to Tech Tools video install. Today we're going to be installing a profiler server on a Windows machine. Prerequisites for this install, we're going to need a Windows operating system that can be physical or virtual. We support all the major platforms, 32 or 64 bit. The installation requires 500 megabytes. We'd like it to grow, so 5 gigabytes a year. Um, plan that accordingly. Memory 1 gigabyte of free RAM. And we are going to need a profiler server install, executable, a license key, and there is no reboot for this installation. So now I'm on my Windows machine. I'm going to go ahead and locate that executable. And once you locate that, um, let's go ahead and run that executable on the Windows machine. And then it's going to pop up. This will install the profiler server. Let's go ahead and click next. Let's go ahead and click next again. Um, this is the licensing agreement. If you would like to read through that, go ahead. Let's just go ahead and click next. You get to choose the directory where you'd like to install the application. Um, in this case, I'm going to just do the local drive to the machine. Let's go ahead and click next. There's a MySQL backend database within the application. Go ahead and enter in a password you'd like to use for that backend database. In this case, I'm just going to do profiler. Server IP address, just make sure that the address there in that field is the address of the server you're installing profiler on. Let's leave the ports default. The database and all these are the actual amount of memory the services will be using. Let's go ahead and leave those default. And this is just verifying everything. Let's go ahead and click next. And let's continue with this installation once that is complete. Now the installation is complete, you're going to notice a select a license type. Um, in this case, you should have a license key. So go ahead and click, yes, I have a license key. And then locate where that license key is. Once you have done that, open it. Go ahead and click next here. And this is very important to note. Um, make sure that the directory where you just installed the application is not being backed up with your backup application. And make sure that directory is also not being scanned with your antivirus software. Very important to note. Once you have done that, go ahead and just click finish and it's going to start the services and it's going to create a desktop icon. So let's go over a couple things to identifying a successful install. Make sure all six of those profiler services are running. And once you've done that, the server agent appears in the GUI. Um, basically everything in there, what I'd like to do is actually go into the application and show you what we actually mean by that. So let's go ahead and open up the actual application. And what we'll do is we'll open up a login screen. The default login screen password and username is admin for the username, admin for the password as well. Let's go ahead and log in. Once we're actually into the application, the first thing that we want to look at is if the agent is successfully, successfully talking to the server. Up at the top, you're going to have a host, and then you're going to have a one in the green section. If there is a one in the green section, that means you are successfully talking to the agent that's self-contained within the server. Go over to the left, down at the bottom folder, Administration, open that up and click on Host. This is going to populate that machine as well. And this is where we can go or dive into a little bit more information regarding that machine. Go ahead and click on the machine's name, and then you'll notice that we have a a main console for this particular machine which happens to be the actual server. The asset information is always the first information we gather. Um, if we do have the asset information that means we are successfully talking with the agent. If you do not see any asset information, if you do not see the agent listed as all, at all, please look at the profiler server troubleshooting video and we will be more than happy to help you within that. And now that the server is successfully installed within the environment, there are a lot of other options for you to do. Um, you can install agents on file servers, backup servers, uh, look at your exchange environment, and look at those servers with LUNs on them as well. Then you can also define other devices and monitor other devices as well. Um, a lot of other options for you. If you have any problems or if you need any help at all, please visit Tech Tools support. And thank you so much for watching.